with 25 days left to Russia 2018, 90 minutes welcomes the returning Morocco after a 20-year absence, a team with two World Cups to play for in Russia. Qualification, winners of Group B in the European qualifiers. Appearances, 7, last in 2014, best placement, 3rd place in 1966, FIFA ranking, 4 Morocco's first World Cup victory in Russia could come off the field. On the eve of the tournament, Morocco is hoping to beat a North American bid for the right to stage the 2026 World Cup. Then it's the duty of the players to perform in Group B in the country's first trip to the World Cup in two decades. Qualification was secured by beating Ivory Coast in a winner-take-all encounter. Intriguingly, only one of the 11 players who started in Ivory Coast was born in Morocco. Lacking a superstar, Morocco often finds its best players in France, the Netherlands and Spain, where their parents emigrated to. Most of the squad wasn't born when Morocco became the first African team to win a group at the World Cup, finishing ahead of England, Poland and Portugal in 1986. Portugal, the reigning European champion, awaits Morocco again this time in Group B, in between games against Iran and 2010 World Cup winner Spain. Here's a closer look at the Morocco team. Coach Havrinard is capable of pulling a team lacking out-and-out -out stars together to form a formidable unit. The 49-year-old Frenchman has had success with far more underrated squads than Morocco's. He led unheralded Zambia to the African title in 2012 and then led Ivory Coast to the continental title three years later. While there's no doubt Renard is a good tactician, he's better known for his passion and flamboyant antics on the sidelines. Watch out for a possible revival of one of his superstitions for major tournaments, the lucky shirt. At the African Cup of Nations six years ago with Zambia, Renard embraced a white shirt that he said gave his team luck and he wore it for every game the Zambians played on the way to the title. Goalkeeper Spanish-born Munir Mohamedi is likely to remain the number one choice for the World Cup. That's the logical decision after he didn't concede a goal in six games in the final round of qualifying. Mohamedi plays in the Spanish second division for Nemancha, while understudy Yassine Bono plays in the top league with Girona. Bono could have represented Canada after being born in Montreal. Defenders' the entire team seems built around Captain Mehdi Benadia, the Juventus centre-back who was born in France but with Moroccan heritage. Benadia has also played for Roma and Bayern Munich and brings experience of top-level European club football to the team. Roman says, who has just led Wolverhampton Wanderers into the Premier League, partnered Benadia successfully during World Cup qualifying. Says can also be utilized as a defensive midfielder to provide an extra line of protection. The wingbacks have generated much excitement in Morocco, 19-year-old Akraf Hakimi of Real Madrid on the right and 20-year-old Hamza Mendel of Lille on the opposite flank. Midfielder Sambark Busufa is the heartbeat of the midfield and has a claim alongside Benadia to be the team's most important player. Born in the Netherlands, Busufa has spent more than a decade in the team and has experience of conditions in Russia. He spent five years with Anzi Makachkala and Lokomotiv Moscow. Also expect Yunus Belha Honda to play a key role in a five-man midfield with the Pacey Nordin Amrabat and Hakim Ziyech operating as wingers. Forwards with five in midfield, Khalid Butev might be the lone striker on the team sheet, although that didn't bother him in the decisive round of qualifying with four goals in six games.
Renard could be tempted, however, to play two up front and give the 24-year-old forward Ayao Belkabi a chance after he scored an eye-opening nine goals in six games in his first international tournament, albeit the lower-level African Nations Championship in January and February. Game safer opening on June 15 against Iran, Morocco will take on its closest northerly neighbors, Portugal, on June 20. The team will then face Spain on June 25. Kylie and Mbappe and Christian Pulisic are among the top 98 players born since 1998, according to Italian newspaper Gazzetta dello Sport. Check out the top 25. Juan Pimiento's caption as Juventus celebrated its seventh consecutive Serie A title, its fans and players bid an emotional farewell to their departing captain, John Luigi Buffon. As Juventus celebrated its seventh consecutive Serie A title, its fans and players bid an emotional farewell to their departing captain, John Luigi Buffon. Caption Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic speaks about Dax McCarty's and Matt Polster's injury and how it will impact the team ahead of the Fire's game against the Houston Dynamo this Sunday May 20th, courtesy Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic speaks about Dax McCarty's and Matt Polster's injury and how it will impact the team ahead of the Fire's game against the Houston Dynamo this Sunday May 20th, courtesy Chicago Fire. Caption Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. Caption Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic spoke about his team's loss in their visit to the Columbus crew on Saturday May 12, lamenting the chances wasted and the number of injuries in his roster, courtesy Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic spoke about his team's loss in their visit to the Columbus crew on Saturday May 12, lamenting the chances wasted and the number of injuries in his roster, courtesy Chicago Fire. Caption The Chicago Fire bounced back with a win over the week, Tottenham clinched their Champions League spot while putting Liverpool in danger, the latest big name on his way to MLS and more of the best of the week in soccer. The Chicago Fire bounced back with a win over the week, Tottenham clinched their Champions League spot while putting Liverpool in danger, the latest big name on his way to MLS and more of the best of the week in soccer.